And a mystery solved in Bucks County after a fire broke out inside a school and a mosque. Our Joe Holden joins us now live from Bristol Township. He's got an update for us today. Joe. Well, Natasha, a restoration company has been out here working for the last two hours. The windows now boarded up. Police tell us they have statements from those three juveniles admitting their actions and about question on charges. Well, that will be up to the district attorney's office. The scope of damage inside a couple of rooms of this soon to be Muslim school is extensive. Chopper three flew over the scene shortly after the fire was extinguished. Investigators say the flames were intentionally set and started in a room full of paper supplies. The building is on the property previously occupied by Immaculate Conception Roman Catholic Parish and school. Somebody called 911 from inside the adjacent mosque reporting they smelled smoke. There is an alarm system present. It did not activate. It did not send a signal to the alarm company and that's being investigated. All day investigators work to figure out who lit the fire. After interviews and statements, police say sadly it was as basic as kids playing with matches or in this case what's believed to be a lighter. The three juvenile students who attend the school uh, started the fire non maliciously. Our detectives who uh, worked the scene with the ATF uh, will recommend that you know, some charges would be appropriate. Representatives from the United American Muslim Association would not speak with us on camera. They spent much of the day referring us to a lawyer who would not take our questions. For investigators, they've dismissed this fire as being part of any ill will towards the community. This ha had nothing to do with any type of hate crime or any anything of that nature. It was just kids being kids. Well, the Muslim community has been working to renovate this old Catholic school building. They were expecting to cut the ribbon on their new school starting next September. At this point, we have not been able to learn from them if that has pushed their timeline back. There is, aside from the thermal damage from the fire, extensive water and smoke damage throughout the building. As far as the mosque is concerned, I'm told services will be ongoing at another location in the township. Reporting live in Bristol Township, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.